What is up guys, EJ here, aka Puckbond007, and welcome to the Movie Reviewers 100, this uh, great collaboration channel on YouTube that I'm proud to be a part of. So uh, this week is a great week of course, it's uh, Halloween week, uh, so lots of cool uh, Halloween horror movies to watch. And uh, yesterday Alan kicked off the week with a uh, great review of uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween from uh, 2007, a film I liked a lot. Um, so, uh, coincidentally, um, I'm going to be reviewing Halloween 2, but not Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. I am uh, going to talk about Halloween 2 from uh, 1981, the original Halloween 2. And the reason is it's, uh, it's part of my uh, 31 Days of Horror viewing uh, that I'm doing this month. Um, on uh, Thursday night, I watched the original Halloween, and um, last night, I rewatched uh, Halloween 2. Um, sort of ending the month with uh, all the original Halloween films. Uh, Halloween 2 is a very interesting film. It was directed by uh, Rick Rosenthal, uh, who took over for John Carpenter. Uh, but John Carpenter uh, co-produced and co-wrote the uh, screenplay for this film uh, with uh, Deborah Hill. And of course, he, he also did the music uh, like he did in the first film. That great Halloween score, one of my favorite horror movie scores. Uh, is, is the Halloween score. Um, and Halloween 2 is not so much a sequel as it is a uh, continuation of the original film. Uh, the film takes place on the same night, uh, right when the, uh, the last film uh, finishes. That's where Halloween uh, 2 begins. Uh, Laurie Strode, played by the great uh, Scream Queen, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, has survived the attack by uh, Michael Myers on her. And... Um, she gets saved at the end uh, by the great Dr. Loomis, played by uh, Donald Pleasance. Uh, he shoots him six times and um, she manages to survive. So yeah, the film picks up, um, picks up right, in, right in the aftermath of the first film. Um, sort of news reports are coming out that three uh, young teenagers have been murdered by Michael Myers. Uh, across the street from where uh, Louis Strode was attacked, of course, and uh, Mike Myers is still on the loose, and um, uh, Dr. Loomis basically teams up with the police to look around the neighborhood uh, to find out where Michael Myers um, is hiding or where he's heading next. And where he's heading next is where um, Lori is being taken. Uh, Lori has been taken to the uh, local area hospital, um, Haddonfield uh, Clinic, I believe. Yeah, the film takes place in uh, Haddonfield, Illinois, of course. And after she suffers um, wounds to her shoulder in the initial attack, she gets taken to the local hospital uh, to recuperate. So, of course, Mike Myers survives the six shots, and Loomis is yelling in the streets, I shot him six times! I love uh, Donald Pleasance. Um, yelling that like numerous times throughout this movie. Um, but yeah, Laurie Stroh is at the hospital, so Michael Myers is, that's where he's heading. Um, the reason why this is such a good sequel, I, I think, is uh, the body count is, is significantly bigger in this film. Like I said, in the first movie, um, which I'll, I'll talk about more when I fin finally uh, do my last video for 31 days, uh, when I talk about Halloween, um, there's only like three death scenes really in uh, the first Halloween movie. It's quite subdued for a quote classic slasher horror film, which it obviously is. Um, but this film has a lot more kills and they sort of ramp up the, uh, the originality with the kills. There's a lot more variation to the kills, a little bit more blood in this movie. And it's a really solid tense um, horror film because any movie sort of set in a hospital uh, for my money has a very sort of eerie and um, sort of mysterious setting hospitals especially at night uh, this hospital does not look very um, inviting um, at night and perfect place for Michael Myers to uh, to rain all this terror on these unsuspecting nurses and paramedics and poor Jamie Lee Curtis once more so yeah, that's uh, Halloween 2, my pick for uh, Halloween week. Um, a great horror sequel. I don't know how other uh, horror movie fans feel about this film, but I think it's one of the best horror sequels out there. 
because like I said, it's basically a continuation of the original film. Uh, it takes place on the same night, uh, made by the same people basically, uh, with the same stars, and but it did come out three years later. It might have been one of the first movies to actually first sequels uh, to do this as well, of course. Uh, Lord of the Rings made that famous uh, with those sequels. Those came out a year apart, but they were all made at the same time. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting concept. This might have been one of the first uh, sort of franchises to do it. So uh, that's Halloween 2 from uh, 1981. My voice is going, as you can probably tell. Let's get some Mountain Dew in me. So yeah, make sure you uh, check out the other guys' uh, videos this week. It's going to be a really good week. I hope everybody has a great holiday. Uh, next Thursday, uh, Halloween week on the Movie Reviewers 100. Uh, what more could you want? So yeah, thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya. Bond. James Bond.